Hello and happy holidays from the Trove. It's been a busy month, but I wanted to get a Christmas related video out before the big day actually arrives. So I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of the best snowy scenes Disney animation has to offer. This ranking is honestly going to be a bit arbitrary, but for the most part, it's going to be based on visual appeal and magical Christmassy vibes. Let's get into it. I've got to kick things off with a few honorable mentions. There were a lot more snowy scenes in Disney animation than I remembered. First is Peter and the Wolf from Make Mine Music, which is inexplicably still not on Disney+. The entire segment takes place in the snow, and while it's not the most magical series of events, the setting is lovely. Next is The Pines of Rome from Fantasia 2000. This one's definitely magical, but I couldn't tell if it counted as winter because it seems to just be in the Arctic. There are icebergs, but it didn't feel like quite enough. Lastly, I wanted to make sure I mentioned Los Posados from The Three Caballeros. It's a short containing artwork from the legendary Mary Blair about children in Mexico reenacting the story of Mary and Joseph as well as sharing their culture's Christmas traditions. The Christmas content makes it seem like it should be on the main list, but there isn't any snow and there isn't really proper animation here either. It's lovely, but for those reasons, it's an honorable mention. And with that, let's dive into the list proper. This is the scene that reintroduces us to Bernard and Bianca for the Rescuer sequel, and it sure was an appealing way to do it. The couple enjoy what I assume is the finest dining experience mice can get. This setting is spectacular. The constant snowfall can be seen out the large windows and provides a classy and elegant backdrop that's perfect for Bernard to fail to propose. Forests in winter are hard to beat. They're so atmospheric and all-encompassing. The content of the scene here isn't anything too special, but the vibes are there. I love the rustic little cabin as well. I think it's honestly what secured this a spot on the list. This entire segment sees the 100 acre wood covered in fresh fluffy snow, and it's really pretty. Tigger takes Rue out to play, and they have some great times including tormenting Rabbit and Tigger going through some emotional trauma. Oh no! But all is well in the end. For real though, I love how this short looks. Winnie the Pooh already has a nostalgic charm to it, so adding snow only serves to make it feel even more magical. There was obviously going to be some Frozen on this list. Frozen 2 is interesting though because it's not actually that snowy this time around. Luckily, Atahalin delivers. This setting is vital because it allows Elsa to reach her emotional revelation and propels the story. And it just looks marvelous. This place is powerful and stunning, and I'm glad it exists. The Christmas vibes are strong with this one. Of course, there's a whole Beauty and the Beast Christmas movie, but while it's amazing, it doesn't qualify for this list, so we'll stick with something there. The song sounds festive, there's snow all around, and Belle and Beast are finally getting along. They even have wardrobe changes. This look from Belle kinda slayed. And Beast's purple cape is definitely my favorite thing he wears. I haven't exactly made it a secret on this channel that I don't love watching Fantasia. I think it's a masterpiece in its own right, but it's boring as hell. 
This, however, is a context where I feel like I can fully appreciate some of what Fantasia has to offer. By just watching an isolated segment, I can really take it in and not have to commit to two hours of fighting for my life to stay awake. The Nutcracker Suite obviously has connections to Christmas already, but the music paired with the gorgeous hand-drawn intricate winter imagery is immaculate. This is like an abstract, whimsical, frosty dream, and I'm happy to have it on the ranking. I'm not sure how to choose just one part of this movie for magical beautiful snow vibes. The entire thing is stunning, and I particularly love the fun that animators had using snow as a blank canvas to reflect colors. Part of me wants to pick the building of Elsa's ice castle, but actually I have to pick the first time Anna and Kristoff meet Olaf. There are very few things that can beat this. This is likely one of the strongest pieces of work in Disney animation history. I've never seen anything else capture the spirit of winter better. We get to relive the childhood wonder of playing in the snow and trying to navigate slippery ice through the character of Bambi. It's all entirely innocent and new. This scene is so beautiful and serene and magical and fun. My words really can't do it justice, but stuff like this is why Disney animation is just so timeless. I love this short. It's my favorite part of any package film. I find the animation style so appealing and charming. It's just such a treat to look at. And the way it portrays winter is very picturesque and cute. The design does a phenomenal job creating this little wintry world. It makes me want to do fun seasonal things like go ice skating and take sleigh rides. Not everything wintry is necessarily Christmassy, but this short does a great job at capturing both. It had to be this one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that Christmas has ever been explicitly portrayed in any other movie from Walt Disney Animation Studios specifically. And they never needed to do it again because they knocked it out of the park here. First of all, I'm extremely partial to the animation style and quality of the Silver Age in the 50s. This looks stunning, quaint, and perfect. The houses are so cute, and the gentle steady snowfall is serene. There's even a horse and sleigh. We close in on Jim Deere and Darling's house, and we get the privilege of entering their cozy living room with their Christmas tree as they open presents. And the cherry on top of all of this is that Darling gets the best present ever. Baby Lady could make anyone's Christmas a holiday to remember. And that's the list. Thank you so much for joining me on this ranking of my top 10 Disney winter scenes. It was fun going through and picking them out, and it helped me get in a festive mood. As we close out the year, I'd like to thank my viewers for making this such a great year on the channel. I hit a lot of milestones that once seemed so distant or even impossible, and I'm really, really grateful to you guys for taking part in and supporting my passion. The trove only is what it is because of the people that watch, so I just want to make sure that I properly express my gratitude to anyone who's ever watched, commented, liked, or subscribed. I also want to wish everyone a wonderful holiday and rest of the year. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting like and subscribe, and head over to the trove to check out more rankings, video essays, trivia videos, and more. I'm looking forward to putting out more fun Disney and animation content in 2023. Thanks again for hanging out. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next year.